Within this lesson, the objective is to use basic facts to estimate quotients with two-digit divisors. Within this problem, 608 is the dividend. We'll refer to it as the whole within this lesson. So what's the whole in this problem? And that's W-H-O-L-E is 608. And the divisor, in this case, is 31. Since we're using estimation here, we'll go ahead and round the divisor first. And what is 31 rounded to the nearest 10? It's 30. So recording our estimation then, we have something divided by 30 then. So we'll need to round 608 to something that is easily divisible by 30. 608 is close to, and then so if we're looking at 600 divided by 30 then, this is just like yesterday in that we would take 600 divided by 10 first, and then also divide it by 3. 600 divided by 10 already is 60, and we divide it by 3, we get 20. So our estimate for this is 20. Remember, I can't write my answer here because this is just an estimate for the answer. Here again, I'm going to estimate. And then remember, when we estimate, first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to round the divisor. Which of these is the divisor again? Right, 73. Let's round it to the nearest tens place. So that we're 73 to the nearest tens place is 70. So now we're thinking about a number that is easily divisible by 70. That is close to 217. Usually when we round, we round to the nearest place value, like for instance 217 to the nearest place value for the tens place would be 220, or to the hundreds place would be 200. However, when we're estimating, it'd be a lot nicer if our whole here was a multiple of our divisor, was a multiple of 70. So if we think a multiple is 70, it's 70, then what? Right, 70 times 2 is 140, then 210, then 280. And the closest multiple here for 217 is 210. So we'll go ahead and write that in there. And then we have 210 divided by 70. And remember, this is our estimation. So 217 divided by 73 is about 210 divided by 70. And if we work that out, 210, number of tens in there is 21, and we have 21 divided by 7, which is 3. So our estimation for this problem here is 3. Okay, it's your turn to try. We have 362 divided by 59. Remember, we're going to go ahead and estimate that 59 first to get what? Right, 60. And then, so hopefully you pause the video, think about the multiple of 60 that is very close to 362. Did you write 360? And then ideally you're able to evaluate this. Here I'm showing my work breaking apart 60, that's 10, and 6 as well. 360 divided by 10 is 36, so we'd have 36 divided by 6, which is 6. And remember, this is our estimation of that answer. All right, 654 divided by 93. Remember, we have our divisor here, and our first step again is to estimate our divisor. 
So this is close to 90. Let's rewrite that as so 654 divided by 93 is approximately something divided by 90. We then take a look at this 90 here, and we think of those multiples of 90. So I have 90 here, and then I have 180, 270, then 90 times 4 is 360, 450, 540, 630, that would be 90 times 7, and then next one would be 720. The one that is closest to 654 is 630. And then that was 7 times 90 equaling 630. So that's 630 divided by 90. And then so 630 divided by 90 should equal 7. That's what I was using my multiples for. Now, of course, I could solve that out. 630 divided by 10 divided by 9 to make sure that I did my multiples calculations correctly. 630 divided by 10. There's 63 tens in that. Then we have 63 divided by 9, which is 7. So our estimated answer here is 7 for this here of 654 divided by 93. In this case, our estimated whole is 630, and our estimated divisor is 90. So our estimated answer here, or estimated quotient, would be 7. Okay, here's one last one for you to try. Pause the video. Okay, and then we have is about something divided by, and we estimate that divisor first, 82, nearest 10 is 80. So we have something divided by 80. And then we think about multiples of 80. 80, 160, 240, 320, 400, 480. And the closest is... 400. So we'd have 400 divided by 80. We can rewrite that as we evaluate it for 400 divided by 10 first, and then divided by 8. 400 divided by 10 is 40. 40 divided by 8 is 5. So our estimated quotient is 5. This is our estimated whole. And again, this is our estimated divisor. And of course, we have an estimated quotient as well. And our estimated quotient, of course, is 5, which is right here. And that's our estimated answer for 413 divided by 82.